So arithmetic sequences in series, we have an example. We have to find the first three terms of the arithmetic series. And we're given that A1, that's the first term, is 7. And An is 79, so that's the last term. And the sum of the terms is 430. So what we need to do first is find N. So we're going to find N. So we don't know how many terms. So we're going to use the formula for the sum. So the sum of N is N, and that's uh, A1, the first term, plus the last term, divided by 2. So we're going to substitute in the values that I know. So I'm told that 430 is the sum of the numbers, or sum of the terms. Uh, we don't know n, so we're trying to find n. We know a1, so I'm going to substitute in 7. And we know the last term is 79. And this is divided by 2. So 430 is equal to n multiplied by 43. And then if I divide both sides by 43, n is equal to 10. So now we've found the value of n, we need to find the common difference. So we're going to find d. And to find d, we're going to use the formula for the nth term. So that's a1 plus n minus 1 multiplied by d. So a of n, this is the last number, so this is 79. The first term we said was 7. Uh, n we've just found as 10, so that's 10 minus 1 multiplied by d. So 79 is equal to 7 plus 9d. So 9d is 79 minus 7, which is 72. And dividing both sides by 9, D is 8. So the common difference is 8. And we just use this. So use D equals 8. And we need to find the first three terms. So A1, we know A1 is 7. So A2 is 7 plus 8, which is going to be 15. And A3 is going to be 15 plus 8, which is 23. So our first three terms are 7, 15, and 23. Okay, so guided practice, we have two questions. Find the first three terms of each arithmetic series. Have a go at the questions. And when you're ready... Press play. Okay, so let's look at 5a. So find, uh, we're given we're given the sum of the numbers. So let's just rewrite the question. So the sum of numbers is 120. n is 8. And a to the n is 36. And a1 we don't know. So we need to find a1. So to find a1, okay. Uh, we're going to use the sum formula. So a1 plus a n divided by 2. And we're going to substitute in what we know. So we're told that we're, we have uh, the sum of the terms is 120. We're told that the number of terms is 8. a1 we don't know. And the last term is 36. So, 120, um, I'm going to divide this by 2 a second, so I'll have 4, and I'm going to distribute the brackets. So, 36 is 144, this is 120, so 4a, let's get rid of that one, we don't need that. So 4a is, is equal to 
144 minus 120. Hundred and twenty minus one hundred and forty four. Try again. So this is minus twenty four is equal to four a, and if we divide by four, a is equal to minus six. So a one is minus six. So now we know a one. We can use this to find a common difference. So we're going to find the common difference. D, and to do that we need to use the formula a n is a one plus n minus one multiplied by d. I'm just going to substitute in what we know. So a n is thirty six. Uh, the first term we just said is minus six. The number of terms is 8, so it's 8 minus 1, and we don't know D. So just going to work out, so multiplying through, distributing, so 8 minus 1 is 7, so 7D. So 7D, if we add 6 to both sides, so that's 42. And if we divide both sides by 7, D is equal to 6. Now we're going to use this difference to find the first three terms. So the first three terms, so we know a1 is minus 6 and the difference is 6 so a2 will be minus 6 plus 6 which is 0 and a3 will be 0 plus 6 which is 6. So the first three terms minus 6, 0 and 6. Okay, so let's have a look at 5b. So 5b, we were given the first term is minus 24. Uh, we're told that uh, the last term is 288 and the sum is 5 to 80. So this time we don't know the number of terms. So we're going to find n. And we do this with the sum formula. So that's a to the 1, a to the n divided by 2 and substitute in what we know so that's 5 to 80 n we don't know uh, the first term is minus 24 uh, this, the last term 288 and this is divided by 2 get that bracket right so 5 to 80 is n multiplied by 132. So if we divide both sides by 132, we will have n is equal to 40. Now we've got a value of n, but we need to find the common difference. So we can use, so we're going to find d. And we can use the nth term formula, so a1 plus n minus 1 times d. So a to the n we know is 288, a to the 1 we were told is minus 24. We have now worked out that n is 40, so that's 40 minus 1, and we're going to multiply by d. So 288 is equal to minus 24 plus 39d and to rearrange we're going to add 24 to both sides and 39d this is going to be 312 and then if we divide both sides by 39d is equal to 8. So we can use this information now to find the first few terms so the first three terms, so A1 we were told was minus 24, A2 is minus 24 and the common difference is 8 so it's plus 8 so this will be minus 16 and A3 is minus 16 plus 8 which is minus 8. So the first three terms is minus 24, minus 16, and minus 8.